Kia ora team, my name's Ben, and this is Sage. And don't panic, this won't take long, we're just going to go through directional terms. So when we're teaching or studying anatomy and physiology, structural kinesiology, biomechanics, medicine, we need special ways of describing things. So the first thing we need to do is we need to set someone up in the anatomical position. So if Sage stands upright, with her feet together and her arms by her side, palms facing forward. Perfect. Alright, so that's the anatomical position. So from this position, we can describe her anatomy. First thing is, instead of saying up, we say superior. So Sage's uh, head is superior to her waist. And the opposite of superior is inferior. So Sage's foot is inferior to her knee. Uh, another way of saying this is cranial. So cranial means superior, like the cranium or the head. And caudal is inferior, like our spinal cord points down. Alright, next thing. When we are talking about the front we say anterior. So Sage's puku is anterior to her bum. And then instead of saying back, we say posterior. So Sage's shoulder blade is posterior to her nose. And then sometimes, just to be even more confusing, we use dorsal and ventral. So if you imagine Sage is a shark, then her dorsal fin would be on her back. So dorsal is also posterior, and the opposite of dorsal is ventral, which is anterior. Good. We've got up, superior, cranial. We've got down, inferior, and caudal. We've got anterior for the front, or ventral, posterior for the back, or dorsal. Now the next thing is, Sage's midline, so running from her nose right the way down. If we're describing something's closer to the midline, then that's medial. And if something's further away, that's lateral. Sage's shoulder is lateral to her neck. And her neck is medial to her shoulder. Okay, next, when we're talking about how, how deep or close to the skin something is, we say superficial or deep. So Sage's skin is superficial to Sage's bone, and her bone is deep to her skin. Okay, anterior, posterior, medial, lateral. I think we've got it all. Thank you, Miss Sage. <laughs> We're not done. One more. Okay, the, the other thing we can talk about is when we're talking about down a limb, so arms arms and legs if something is closer to the torso if it's a closer proximity then it's proximal and if something's further away it's distal so this is only on a limb arms and legs my oh, sage's elbow is proximal to her wrist and sage's wrist is distal to her elbow so when we're talking about arms and legs <laughs> So that's your gums, that's right. There's your shoulder. Sage's shoulder is proximal to her elbow, and her elbow is distal to her shoulder. Alright, now we're done.